Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Wait, whoa, guys, whoa, whoa, the sink. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 uh, guys, I was just in our mailbox and this came in. It looks like it came from like all these different countries. What the heck? Wait, this looks like it's been in the mail for literally forever. Like Paris, Venice. Where even is this from? Yeah, it looks like it's some sort of like world traveler envelope. It looks like it says to the scory. Wait, where? Family, but it got covered up by a custom sticker. Okay, but who sent it? Where is it from? It oh. doesn't have a return sender. It smells funny. I guess let's open it and see what's inside. I am always suspicious when we get something in the mail that doesn't have any sort of return address on it, but this looks like it was intentionally sent for us and like it came from a very long journey. Wait, there's a note on it. Ew, there's like cobwebs on it. It says to the Scory family, I'm truly sorry to pass this on to your family, but the last haunt can't be completed unless you pass it on. I believe out of anyone you guys might be able to survive this. If not, I'm so sorry, but I've lost too much already. What the heck? Wait, that sounds highly suspicious. Is yeah. this like a joke or something? Like what is? Whoa. Whoa! What is this thing? It looks like some sort of like ancient journal. Okay, don't freak out. Nobody freak out. I'm starting to freak out. How did somebody send us this creepy journal without having our address? It didn't even have the studio on there. It just said the Scory family. Oh. What oh. the heck? Okay, oh. this I thing is ancient. Yeah, I don't think this thing has been touched for like years. Uh -oh. What does that say? It's a note. It says, the 100 years of haunts cannot be stopped once you start. By opening the book, you have officially started. Uh, what? Wait, well, close the book, close the book. Wait, you want to open the book and start anything? It says, if you do not finish all 100 years of haunts by 3 a.m., be prepared to be cursed with all of the misfortunes. Return oh, to no. sender, return no, to no, sender. No, 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 Where's no. the envelope? We Where's can, the envelope? We cannot get cursed, you guys. This is like chain mail, but in real life. So, whoever sent it to us knew that it was cursed, but still sent it to us in the first place? So, so, so maybe that means we have to do all of the 100 years of pawns and then we're gonna end up having to send it to someone else. How can we pass that on to someone else? That's so mean. Because we can't keep it. We can't stay cursed. So what? We just have to start with the 100 years? Oh my gosh. You guys, there are haunts in here that start in 1924. A hundred years ago. From today! So we must have to go through all of them and do the different hunts. Okay, this looks scary. I am officially freaked out. I'm scared. First haunt, the year of 1924. There were rumors of a haunted gramophone that played eerie melodies on its own. That's this. It yeah. was said if you played a specific record at midnight, the ghostly voices of the original owner would speak to you. We kind of had to improvise here. So we had this little thing, which is kind of like a record player. Okay, it says turn off all lights. Oh, all lights. Oh, okay, wait, turn this off. Wind up an old gramophone. Right, do I turn off this light? I guess. Whoa. What's Whoa, the lights started flashing. Wait, the oh, lights don't so normally scary. flash like that. All right, let's, let's just get this Wait. over with. Play the designated record. What was that? So this is what it sounds like normally. It says, listen closely, play it backwards and the ghostly whispers might communicate mysterious like messages. Backwards? Okay. How do you play like, it backwards? You, like, you can like reverse it. Right. Wait. 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 Wait.
1934 Bloody Mary. I'm sure you guys have heard of this haunt before and we actually are frequents to Bloody Mary. Like, we've done it quite a few times. This one's a little different though and it isn't what we normally do. What do you mean it's different? It says Mary was a girl who died and if you call upon her, 13 times that she will appear. 13 is the unlucky number. I thought it was a lucky number. No, it's unlucky. Why is it Taylor Swift's lucky number? Because she was born on the 13th. Yeah, that's why it's also my lucky number. <laughs> Were you born on the 13th? Yes! You don't know my birthday? The instructions are go into the bathroom and call upon her name and see if she appears! Okay, I have never once called Bloody Mary 13 times. It's usually only three times. All right, well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Wait, oh, guys, oh, the sink. Oh, 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 what is that? Okay, we didn't see Bloody Mary, but maybe that's what it meant. That's you saw Bloody Mary. So we're cursed now? I don't know. I don't like that though. Maybe that was some sort of warning not to like mess with Bloody Mary. Oh. Okay, let's just go to the next one because I don't like this one at all. Okay. Put that down Drain the, sink. the blood. The next haunt is the phantom phone. It says in 1954, a mysterious telephone number circulated. It was rumored that if you dialed it at midnight, you would receive a call from a spirit who's been trying to make contact with the human realm. Ew! Oh, I, oh, I hate that. Oh, what spirit do we think it's gonna come through? This lady? Ew. Oh, that looks like Eden. Murder at Avondale Hall. Okay, so people were doing this all the way back in the 1950s. Okay, let's just get this one over with. Okay, this sounds so scary. I doubt this one's even gonna work because this phone is like low-key broken. Oh There's a God. phone number on here that you're okay. supposed to call and then you'll dial it and then you listen closely. So we don't want to show the number because I don't want to curse anyone else. Yeah, it could, it could low-key be dangerous. The telephone number is literally inside this envelope that's in the book. Okay, and just to show you guys, this is like one of the old fashioned phones where you literally have to like have your number and then spin it around and that's how you mark that you dialed that number. Guys, okay. I'm scared. Okay, hold on. Good thing Archie's here for moral support because he can sense out the ghost. So if Archie starts acting suspicious, guys, keep an eye out because that probably means there's a ghost in here. Okay, wait, 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 it's ringing, it's ringing. Wait, 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 it's ringing. Hello? Hello? Wait, it just sounds like static. I don't like this. Oh, I just got full body chills. Like, I don't know. Wait, is it is it a dead <laughs> number? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm I don't like this. I'm, I'm scared. I'm stressing it. I don't like this at all. We need to return this book. Oh, how do we get rid of this thing? I think the only way to get rid of it is to keep doing all the haunts but, until we get to like 2024. That's this year. Okay. Oh. Well, can't we just like burn it or something? I don't know, the, the person who sent it to us said that they've lost enough, which is why they sent it to us. So who knows what that even means? Ooh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I didn't like that. 1964, Annie Ring and her red string. Anything that rhymes is automatically scary. Annie Ring and her red string became famous in the 1960s. There was a girl who would carry around red string and hand it out to people as she saw them. But one day, someone kept their string and woke up to find that it had been cut in half. Later that day, they died. It was soon to be thought that Andy Ring was an evil spirit cursing people and the red string was outlawed. But legend has it, if you tie a red string around yourself and turn the lights off, if your days are numbered, Annie will cut the string. Why am I doing this? I did not volunteer to be the one to put the red string on me. But well, Eden, your days are the most numbered. You have the most health problems. It says everyone in the room has to do it. So we all have to tie we our- We all have to? Yes, what? We all have to do it. And then we have to turn the lights off and say, Andy Ring, Andy Ring, please don't cut my red string. Okay. It says it in the book. Also, look at it. There's the little pieces of red Yeah, string. like literally in the book. So- <gasps> Wait, Wait, that's her. Wait. Wait, I think that's Annie. Do you think the guy, when he said that he already lost too much, did he do it with other people and then their red strings were cut? And those are their cut red strings. These are all the people that- Oh. <gasps> Okay, I don't like this because I feel like we should just give up on these myths. I don't think we should go any further. I feel like they're getting more and more dangerous. Are you a quitter? Yes. Oh. All right, guys, if we're going to do this, let's just do it fast. Does everyone remember the chant? No, I don't. 
$1,000. Um, Annie, Annie, shake your fanny. That is literally not at all. You're gonna make Annie mad. She's gonna come for you. Bro, the fanny's your butt. It's Annie ring, Annie ring. Please don't cut my string. Okay. All right, Annie, ready? Annie ring. Annie ring. Please don't cut my string. Hi. Are we gonna let off? All of them. Ah, it's so oh. dark. Wait, okay. I, that wasn't Wait. me. Well, You're such you. a liar. I swear that wasn't me. <laughs> cool. All right, just say okay. it. Just say okay. Okay. Annie, Annie ring. Annie ring. Please don't cut my string. <laughs> yeah, just once. Okay. Well, I don't know where the light. Ah. Hello. Okay, so everyone, strings. <laughs> my, string, <laughs> my string's cut. What? No, no way. No, oh, my, my string is still whole. My string is all. Wait, does that mean? Tyler's gonna die! No, we don't, don't know like that. Don't okay, don't like okay, just calm down. We, it could have just maybe been a fluke in the string. Was it actually cut? Yes. It wasn't even cut from, like it didn't come undone because it was cut from this spot. Like it's still tied. Okay, well listen, technically Tyler's days are the most numbered. Because he's the oldest. Because he's the oldest, so it makes sense. Okay, yeah. Um, maybe that's all it was saying. I'm just gonna die first. Okay. Which, like Cole said, it makes But sense. like in a long, 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 right. long time. Right. Andy, if you hear this, please take your brother from us. 1974. Ouija board. No! I hate the Ouija board. A group of friends unwittingly unleash a malevolent entity through the use of a Ouija board. <laughs> Guys, Ouija boards are seriously dangerous. They communicate with the other side and nothing good ever happens from using them says attempt to contact the spirit. Okay, well on that note, I do think it do be getting late. Oh, so I, should... I found a hidden note. Not the hidden note. It says the spirit they came in contact with became increasingly hostile, terrorizing anyone who dared to communicate with it. Its name was B. What? B? B? As in B, spooky. I'd be on my way out because I have got to go. Guys, we have to do all 100 years of the hunts. Otherwise, we're going to be cursed for forever. I think the most cursed thing about this is the size of the planchet. <sighs> okay, guys, we just have to do this, all right? Everyone knows how a Ouija board works. And on the planchet. Okay, so now we must ask the spirits if they're there and willing to talk to us. But do we really want to talk to B? Spirits! Specifically B. What may B stand for? Bartholomew? Anyways, if you're out there, B, we are asking to communicate through a marriage of our minds. Open yours and we shall connect. Do we like just do this in your free time? That was a little too good. Don't ask questions while we are establishing a connection. <gasps> Wait, it's moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys. Okay. okay. Guys. I think we have communication. Wait, Who is moving it? No, no one is pushing it. Wait, swear? Look, my fingers are hardly even on it. I'm literally not even touching it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, it's just, yeah, yes. no they're there. Hey, don't take your hands off. Don't take no, your hands off. Why? Why? Because you're breaking the connection. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone keep your hands there. What do we ask it next? Is this journal dangerous? What's happening? <gasps> ah! That was way too fast. Who's doing this? I have never had a board go that quickly. You swear you did no, I promise it was me. Tyler, put your hand in the blanket. I you swear you I promise it wasn't me. Don't put your hand on the... Okay, um, what is the worst thing that can happen using this book? Right, I mean, he said it was dangerous, but right. what's like the worst? Right, like... Oh, it's moving, oh, it's moving. Oh, okay. Oh, guys, I don't know if I want to know this. Oh, D. E. e. This is so weird. Guys, are you sure no one's actually pushing it? I, yes, I like, hardly am touching like, this. Literally, look at my fingers. I can, like, lift one Dad? Yeah, I'm, like, loosey-goosey. Yeah, and me too. Like, I'm not even, like, it's one finger, and it's still moving. Wait, like, I, I think it's on A. Dad? Maybe it will go into debt. Like, it takes money from you? Uh, okay, wait. I'm stopping here on age. D-E-A-S. Dad? Hey, Dad? Hey, no, hands no, on the planchet. Hands on the planchet. Can we have to close Close it out. Close it out, guys. Dad, why did it smell dead? Thank you. Thank you, B, for talking with us. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. 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 Okay, 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 okay. I, I love didn't that. like that. Guys, it's not doing anymore, but I came here and the light was literally flashing and I wasn't touching it. This one. That one was flashing? Yeah, like it was like turning on and off. No. What the heck? Yeah. I, that's just why I don't like haunted things, because when you're not doing the haunted things, the other haunted things are happening. 1984. 
the haunted arcade. In 1984, an arcade gained notoriety from poltergeist activity. Players claimed that they left the game unattended. Wait, wait, that was a lot of big words in a very small amount of time. Okay, basically what it means is there was an arcade machine that was haunted by a ghost that would play it by itself when you left it alone. So we need to have the arcade game, put a game up unattended and see if anything happens. Okay, we have a game. Okay, so is it is it ready to play? I think so. Okay, so don't touch it. Oh, this is me. Oh, I'm firing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so don't touch it. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's happening. It's just the same thing repeating on screen. Okay, guys, I think it's safe to say that this one is a bust. Okay, there are no ghosts playing video games in our studio. Can we just get through the recipes? All right, next one. <sighs> the next haunt is from 1994. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Okay, this makes sense that this is from the 90s because I used to do this as a kid. Right, we're starting to get closer and closer to modern day 2024. But the question is, when was this book started? Like, was this a book of haunts that started all the way where there was just one haunt you had to do and then pass it on and then people just kept on passing it on to more and more people as the years went on? Wait, so you think that in 2034, there's gonna be a new haunt? Probably, and look how scary this picture is. The girl's floating. Okay. Why well, didn't even see her? Okay, apparently this is how Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board started. It says, in the 1990s, historians discovered a lost diary from someone named Samuel Pepe, where in it he described a chilling event. Oh, that oh, always so sounds scary. scary. It said it was the 31st of October, Halloween. Halloween, most haunted night of the year, where I stumbled across a group of children far too young to be alone out in the woods. I'd gone to approach immediately as it looked as if one of them was dead. <gasps> Lying flat in the middle was a young child, and the other three children stood around him chanting, Light as a feather, stiff as a board. No, I don't like this. Light I don't like this feather, one bit. Stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board, and they lifted him up with only their fingers. A feat that would be impossible if it was not for witchcraft. I'm sure of it. So that's literally how the haunt of Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board started? Somebody literally saw some random kids in the woods doing it? Okay, because if it's actually gonna work, I feel like we should go with Cole. Because you'd be the hardest to lift up. No, sorry guys, some things I just had to put my foot down for. If you've never done this before, what you do is you take your two fingers and you try to lift the person up before you say the chant to see how hard it is. Crazy. Okay, I did not believe that that actually worked. Archie, did you see that work? Does that mean that Cole's haunted now though because it did work? No, I think it means you're haunted because you got haunted to be strong. Sure. This is from 2014 and it is Charlie, Charlie. Oh my gosh, you guys, I remember this haunt. I did this all the time back in high school. It says that Charlie was a mischievous little boy who was always getting into trouble at school. He would draw all over the walls and was a nuisance to everyone. One day he caused a fire that burned the school to the ground and the only thing left were two of Charlie's pencils. It was then discovered by the kids at the school that he could use the pencils to talk to Charlie from the beyond! She said, he burned the school down. Yeah, the hardest part of this challenge is always getting the pencils to balance. Okay. okay, it says draw an X on the paper and label it yes and no and lay two pencils over the lines of the X you drew. Say, Charlie, Charlie, are you there? And ask a question. Yeah. Okay, so we did this. So we just have to balance them and ask a question. Look, guys, there's Charlie. Wait, that's actually Charlie. It says Charlie at school before it burned down guys comment down below if you have done any of these haunts before guys, this bug almost feels like a journal like someone's putting like memories and these haunts in it but that must mean they've been maintaining it for a hundred years that's why I feel like they keep passing it along like chain mail but in a book I'm so nervous my heart's pounding okay if it doesn't balance does that mean Charlie's not here I think only if it went to no well no is him answering the question oh true Charlie Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, no, it's so fast. We didn't even get the question out! Right, Charlie right, said, I am here! I really didn't ask it first because she had said it. She was like, no, it's Charlie, Charlie. I'm right going to be sick. This is so scary. Ask another question. Okay, Charlie. Is Bro, wait, wait, wait. I have like a scratch on my phone. Wait. Oh, what? I don't know. Was that while we were filming? Wait, wait, wait like remember, remember when the doll scratched your back? Yeah. No, literally, it looks like a scratch bar. Did you like, zoom like, in like, on it? Wait, Charlie, was was the scratch from you? Charlie, did you scratch Cole? <laughs> Why is it moving so fast? Yeah, like, it's stuff. literally like, did it go this fast when you guys did it? There's got to be an explanation. No, I, mean, like, I think it's the gravity. Of what? Like the Charlie? world? You got your PhD in Charlie Charlie? Uh, I'm just saying, if one okay, side is heavier. But if if that was the case, it would constantly be spinning. It only spins That's after true. we ask a question. And it wouldn't be balancing. Let's ask Charlie if this book started in 1924. Okay, Charlie Charlie, did this haunted book start in 1924? Yes. yes. Okay, so it did. Okay, so what does that mean? That someone literally started this in 1924 to haunt people all the way until 2024? You're the phone's ringing. 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 Someone pick up the phone. What phone? What phone? Ah! Hello? Wait, what is it? It's just static. It's me, Charlie. Ah! <laughs> Wait, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it? What's it? Did Wait. you hear that? The thing went off. Wait, it's spinning, guys. It's spinning. Please put in the card. It's spinning. It's spinning. It said, please put in the disc for the card. Oh my, my heart is literally pounding. Girl, Wait, that, like, was a gut, that was a guttural scream. Is your oh, throat please. okay? Guys, we have one more hunt. I don't know if we can do one more. We have to get through this last one. Uh, I'm like hyperventilating right now. I don't like this one We bit. have to, otherwise we're gonna have to live like this for the rest of our lives. <sighs> <sighs> Guys, Archie doesn't usually get scared, but he looks freaked out, right? Yeah, because when dogs are scared, then that means something actually is haunted. Oh my God. Also, why is he, why is he doing this? He's hurting my neck. Because he's probably scared, Cole. 2024. We have worked so hard, you guys, to get to this page right here and we can finally get rid of this journal so it can haunt someone else besides us. Wait guys, on this we have a list of haunted questions to ask Siri. We had done a video once where we asked Alexa questions, but I don't think we've ever asked a Siri question. Before we do the last one, we should maybe talk about something not haunted. Like what? Um, maybe like our new merch? Ooh, that's mm -hmm. actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. Loki. Oh, oh, squad. Goals right here. Oh, we got the scories mm, with the sleeves and the bag. Mm. Nice. Also, I don't know how, but these sweaters are literally so fluffy. Like, I put this on and it felt like I was wearing a blanket. It's so cozy. Um, Tyler, um, what is your shirt today? It's they don't leave that place. So my shirt is Kiki Guy, which basically means you're living your best life. I really want to go to Japan maybe this year. I don't know, we'll see. But I want to do a Japanese inspired shirt. And I wanted to make a club that everyone was a part of that you don't need an invitation to, and it is the Self Love Club. So you can get your hoodie and join my Self Love Club. Get all of these and more on thescores.com and do it quick because they might sell out. Once we put new merch items on our shop, they are only going to be available for limited amounts of time. So get yours before they are gone forever. Right, now let's ask Siri some of these haunted questions. Right. First question. Siri, do you believe in ghosts? Well, I could give you a spirited answer, but it would probably haunt me. What, what does that, that mean? mean? She didn't even want to tell us because she said, I'm going to get haunted. That's, no, that's crazy. That's suspicious. Okay, all right, next question. Siri, what happens after we die? If you think it could be serious, ask me to call emergency services <gasps> or someone you trust. <laughs> she thought that you were dying right now. Literally not Siri, like, is she predicting that I'm gonna die and need help? Well, in the podcast, you did talk about your achy heart. That is true. Guys, if you don't know, we are coming out with a podcast too. Lots of exciting stuff coming this year, but more on that later. I'm pondering a turn. What? The what? 
You didn't even ask the question! Y'all heard her just say she's pondering eternity, right? That was kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Okay, wait, there's one more question. Siri, is someone out to get us? Yes, there is somebody watching you. Make sure to watch your back and every step you take. What? <gasps> oh my oh, gosh, oh. wait! The journal! Hold your phone! Hold your phone! The journal just shut! It won't open! Wait, what do you mean? It like glued shut! Ow, ow, it's stuck in my finger! Wait, wait, ow, oh, oh, ow, careful! Get out, ow. get out! Okay, wait, is this because we finished all the hunts? It must be. What was the last step? It said send it to someone else. Let's do that now before it opens back up. But who can we curse? I have just the person. Oh, Come on. No. What? I don't want to curse anyone. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, Cole, we have to think about this before we curse someone. Yeah, like, are we just going to send this like, one of our friends or something? We can't do that. Yes. Keep them busy for a while. Keep who busy? The director. <gasps> Good idea, Cole. 